Hey guys, Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be checking out GNOME 40. So let's get started. So if you guys have been a long time viewer of this channel, you probably know that I am a GNOME desktop environment user. And I know I do KDE stuff. I also like XFCE for lightweight stuff. But GNOME is really my desktop of choice when I install it on either this computer or my laptops and everything. So today we're going to be checking out GNOME 40. And it's based off GTK4. And the operating system I'm going to be using is GNOME OS, which you could download their nightlies officially from GNOME.org. Uh, I am actually going to be also testing this on a physical machine, which is the Odyssey x86. And I have it installed on the SSD because I wasn't able to install it on EMMC, which really didn't matter anyway. I didn't read any details about this. I know it's been out, but I didn't read like any specifics. It did come across my uh, web browsing quite a few times. So I'm really excited to check this out. All right, so here we have the main desktop. I already went through the installation. It's super easy, like literally two clicks because they don't have all that stuff to, they ask you all the questions after you installed it. So like username and stuff like that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is check out um, the tour which popped up originally when I first booted up. I didn't want to spoil it. So here we are, uh, start the tour. So we're going to check it out start, get an overview, press activities to see and open up Windows apps. Okay, that I already know. Uh, make your own apps, arrange. Okay, does that mean that I could actually now have a menu editor and add my own icons like I could never do before unless I had like menu editor uh this is make your own apps arrange the app grid like to your liking okay so it doesn't sound like you can but yeah you could arrange it keep on top of your workspaces e easily organize new workspaces i know that they have this new workspace feature which i'm going to be checking out uh up and down oh nice so on my laptop i usually use this python program i think called pi gesture or something like that which does the same thing you could program um, key combinations on what you do on your touchpad, but now it has it natively. So um, that's going to be pretty cool for my laptop. Uh, swipe left and right for workspaces. Okay. And that's it. We hope to enjoy uh, GNOME OS nightly. That is it. That wasn't much. Okay. So here we have the desktops and what is it? Oh, okay. So it's Windows key alt to switch between the desktops and up and down to kind of get to the activities. So it's like hot keyed in there. So Windows key to get into the activities menu, window key and alt to kind of like navigate around. And after this, I can't move my keys. I have to use my mouse. That kind of sucks because you should have been able to do that. Um, let me see. Yeah, I can't, I can't adjust that. All right. So maybe that's a feature they should add because if you're going to be allowing me to actually hit Windows key and Alt and get into these menu. At least let me navigate with the keyboard in there. Uh, I'm not too worried about the desktop apps or any apps that they um, that GNOME OS features. More like GNOME 40, that's what I'm trying to look into. So they do have, um, so I could supposedly like make my own, okay, yeah. Can I make my own apps? No, there's nothing really I could do to actually add apps like, you know how Windows have it? um let's check out settings did they change anything in settings so here we go is it like a little slow to load or did it load to my other window oh yeah there you go it loaded to another window um wi-fi network bluetooth okay backgrounds i'm not a big fan of this background but something froze that was weird um they do have a few backgrounds that come with gnome but that's more like, I think, a Ubuntu thing. So, notifications. Okay, so you got that. Search. Same as before, you still get the search features if you're going into your activities. Applications. Uh, okay, you could set if uh, you get notifications from those. And, like, not really I could do anything with this. They supposedly have a new file manager as well, which I, we're going to be checking out. Privacy. Okay, you can enable, disable. This is where you would do your screen lock as well. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Online account, sharing. Do we still have file sharing? Yep, screen, media, remote login. Okay, cool. Sound, nothing much change over here. Power options, balance. Oh, now you get a cho choice between balance or power saver. 
Before it wasn't like this, it was just power saving and you, you set stuff like this. Uh, display, okay, that's standard. Uh, natural scrolling or not, okay. Keyboard, this is where you could change customized shortcuts. Let's see. Okay, that kind of looks a little bit different than what it was before. I think it would switch to another menu. Printers, removable media, color. You know what I didn't see? A dark theme or theming at all. So that's what I was trying to see. They don't, they have background, but they don't have, um, like I can't change this theme by switching to a dark mode or anything like that. Probably need gnome tweaks, but yeah, they don't have anything like that. So it's pretty standard. I don't see anything that's changed into the gnome settings. Uh, they don't have that menu thing over here. Let's check out the files. Supposedly they fixed some stuff. They didn't really change much in the visual over here, but supposedly they fixed like transferring files and stuff like that. Uh, the calculations, they correctly fixed that as well. Um, so visually, I don't think anything has changed. It just looks pretty much the same. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, they have a new software store called Snappy or something. And no application data found. Okay, um, not much to view here, I guess, then. Uh, music player. Okay. Calendars. Now, one thing they did add to this, which I've actually never really played around with, is maps. So let's see if they have it in here. Maps. Yeah, this is like their Google Maps or something like that, or their version of maps. And I think GNOME 3 also had it. I'm not too sure because I actually never used it. And wow, it takes a while to load this program up. Is there anything else that I could check out? Because other than the full activities changing like this. Okay, maps don't want to show. Okay, if I click on activities, how do I get to this menu? Show applications right away. Utilities, image viewer, fonts, document viewer. Terminal. Let's see if their GNOME system monitor looks different. Uh, no, still looks very basic. They didn't really change anything here. Is maps loaded? Because I don't see it. I don't see it loaded either. Okay, final thoughts about this. Other than the visual changes that you see, like to the activities menu and how the applications or uh, stuff comes up, um, ultimately it functions exactly the same. So in GNOME 3, which is the current GNOME that I'm using, when you click on the menu key, the activities go on the left side. You have like a dock on the left side and then the desktop's on the right kind of hidden. Then it shows all your applications in the middle. Uh, this one kind of just does the same, but shows you the desktop and the application that's on. So I could kind of like navigate between the two. Um, as far as the applications, it kind of pops up and gives you better view of the icon itself. I don't like the solid background, which is something we could probably change in the future because I like, you know, if you've seen my other videos, the blurred background gives you some textures and stuff like that. This just looks very plain. So that's fine right now, but um, ultimately the visual changes I could see uh, doesn't affect much, but I feel like it's a little bit more intuitive, if that makes sense. It's a, it feels like I know how to navigate through this compared to when I first started GNOME 3 and you actually had to like press this and then look for the activity on the left side. It wasn't as intuitive as this. So I, I in a way, like this right now. Performance-wise, I really can't tell the difference. It feels just as fluid and smooth as GNOME 3. Uh, but other than that, I kind of like it. I just need to know how much support there is for extensions on this guy before I fully switch over to GNOME 40. Anyway. Uh, that's it for me guys. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, 